The first place Orioles back home tonight to open up a series with the Mets. And this generation of birds, yeah, they're looking for some of that 1983 mm -hmm. Orioles magic. Paul Gessler reports this weekend, Orioles fans are honoring its World Series team from 40 years ago. The love of the game, hitting home runs, those things are great, but every player from every generation wants a title. And this weekend, the Orioles celebrate the last team that did it, the 83 World Series champs. Cal Ripken has it, and the Orioles have won the World Series. The bond is as strong in 23 as it was in 83. Orioles alumni greet the media and each other in advance of a 40-year reunion celebration prior to Saturday's game. The theme among many, the 83 team never counted themselves out. It didn't matter what the score was. It could be late in the ball game, and we could be down by two runs going into eighth inning, and they say, hey, we got them right where we want them. And the next thing you know, that Oreo magic. Fans are encouraged Saturday to be in their seats by 6:20 for the ceremony. Afterwards, Birdland will watch their first place Orioles, a sound music to world champion ears. Excitement's back. You know, the ballpark now is full again. This team out here, if you watch them, um, they believe. Our motto was, "Stay close. Something good will happen." And you get that. I get that feeling right now with this team. They know they're going to win. If not, they're going to be off the close. Regardless of the end result for this year's team, the 83 club sees a bright future ahead. The best guide to our success is winning. And they've started to win. And they've gotten a taste of what winning feels like. In the next couple of years, I think they're in a situation where they could possibly win a World Series. 1983 alumni Tippy Martinez, Bill Swaggerty, Gary Renneke will all be signing autographs on Utah Street the hour leading up to first pitch, which is set for 7.05 here at Camden Yards. I'm Paul Gessler reporting for WJZ.